Hello, welcome back. Um, so this is uh, the second video on, on the continuation of the question um, for which we've done part A and part B. There was a particle moving in the x-axis in the first part of the question. They had asked us to calculate the speed of the particle when t was 4. And um, now we, in part B, they asked us for the, an expression for the distance of the particle from O at time t seconds um, and now in part C they were asking us for um, the distance traveled by the particle between the instance of t equals 1 and t equals 3 so here we have uh, two options really we can either put in the t equals 1 and the t equals 3 in here uh, which is our expression for x in terms of t and if we put uh, in 3 and then we put in 1 and we subtract those two then we get how much uh, distance it traveled in between the, uh, 1 second and 3 seconds um, and that would be fine, we can do that also to check but the, w the way that I'd like to do it, uh, which I think would be a bit more um, insight insightful or more useful in terms of the the, uh, the learning would be to use the expression for velocity which we we have right here v, uh, v is t squared minus t plus 3 and to integrate uh, the velocity which would normally give us the displacement anyway and we've already done that to get this here but to do it with limits so to do it for the limits of between t equals 1 and t equals 3 and uh, do it that way and see how, how much distance we get and then see that that is the same as uh, having integrated this and now introducing the values of 1 and 3 and uh <coughs> and subtracting one from the other so if the if the expression for the velocity is t squared minus t plus 3 then uh, if v is equal to t squared minus t plus 3 i think that's correct yeah then the integral of the velocity with respect to time between t equals 1 and t equals 3 which is what the question asks us for um, is going to equal our this, uh, the distance that we're interested in so that's going to be the integral from 1 to 3 of t cubed minus t plus 3 with respect to time that's a 3 and uh, now that looks like a 5 that's just that's better so what we then do is to integrate this and keep the limit so the way we do definite integration is we write the the bracket for integral and we I'm going to apologize because I'm, I'm integrating v which is t squared minus t plus 3 so for some reason I copied the answer from here and it's not a cube it's a square sorry if I confused you that should make more sense because we're integrating the velocity up there and uh, so what do we get? we get t cubed over 3 minus t squared over 2 plus 3t we don't need a constant of integration because we have a definite integral and so this is going to be between 1 and 3 so if we introduce uh, the way we do this normally is we always put in the 3 in here and we compute, we work out what that is and then we subtract the same expression but with a 1 ins inside and then we get an answer and here you, you can see um, just here on top where the answer for the displacement is that that's exactly what we would do here in this question if we wanted to do it manually and like more intuitively we would just type in the 3 and put it in here and then work out the same answer for 1 and then subtract them to see what the distance is between them but um, 
this is exactly the same thing that we're doing here, so we should get exactly the same answer. So if we put a 3 in here, we get 3 uh, cubed, which is 3 times 3 is 9, times another 3 is 27, uh, divided by 3, minus uh, the 3 squared, which is going to be 9 over 2, plus 3 times t, if t is 3, that's going to be another 9, minus the same thing, but with t is equal to 1. So we would have 1 third um, um, minus t squared over 2, so that's 1 half, plus 3 times t, which is 1, so 3. So here we, we now we just need to do some computing. So 27 divided by 3 is 9, uh, minus 9 over 2, which is uh, 4 and a half. Um, plus 9, minus 1 third, minus minus a half, minus 3. Right, minus times a plus is a minus, so that's minus 3. So, if I do this, I should get, let me see, um, 9 plus 9 is 18, 18 minus 3 is 15, 15 plus 4 and a half, so 15 minus 4 and a half is 10 and a half. 10 and a half plus a half is going to be 11. And 11 minus 1 third is going to be 10 and 2 thirds. So that's in meters the displacement that this particle does between seconds 1 and seconds 3. So I hope that, that makes sense, and that's exactly what we would get if we did it here, if we just typed in 3 here and then subtracted it from the displacement of 1. You can see the similarity between both methods. Methods, In one of them we integrated first, and then we uh, substitute the values um, in the final expression. In the other one we do it like a definite integral, but uh, there are really two ways of doing exactly the same thing. You can probably see that uh, they're done even in the same order and everything. So very similar. All right, so that's the first question that I wanted to go through in uh, this mix mixed exercise, uh, and I hope that helps um, if you get stuck in these types of questions, so you can have a look through them. Um, all right, until the next video. Ciao, ciao.